Okay, this tutorial is all about um, uh, bitmap effects built in in Corel Draw X3. I've got two effects here uh, that that was done in Corel Draw X3. So the first one here, it's more of the page curl. This was done not in Photoshop or not in Corel Photo Paint, but this was done here in in uh, Corel Draw X3. And if you notice the other picture here, uh, it's more of a blur effect here. It's like motion. The, so the horse is like there's an action going on, like he's actually running. But that was also done in Corel Draw X3. To give you an idea, what are the original pictures of this one? Okay, this was the original picture before the effect. And the horse, uh, I'm just gonna grab that one. So, this is the original picture of the horse. There. Just put this back here. Okay, so now. Okay, now let's start with the page curl here. Okay, in page curl, this is, you call it page curl effect. So you click on the bitmap or the photograph or from the digital camera or whatever, and you go to bitmap, and then it's a 3D effect. So you click on 3D effects and click on page curl. So once you open up page curl, you're going to have this dialog box here. I'm just going to move this over here. So let's start, you see these icons here? So if you want your page page curls to be top right corner, you choose this uh, this icon here, and then there is a preview button here. So before you uh, you uh, click on OK, you can preview it first. So we'll let's preview it first. There you go. It's a very fast effect that you can do right in Corel Draw. Now here in paper, in the option here in paper, you can make it, this is transparent. If you want to make it opaque, and I click preview, if you notice this one, it's opaque. Now the color of the paper, you can also change that by going to color, color of the curl. Let's say I'll just make it exaggerate, make it red. There. Or make it blue. Click on preview. Okay, so that's how you do it. So I'll just put it back to gray and click on preview. Okay, now there's also an option for for the distance. See if I move this slider, the width, I'll make it higher. Click on preview, and you notice this one would change. So this one changed, and I can also decrease the height. Say I want it, I want the height to be up to here there so I'll put it back again there so now you also have an option of putting it you know remember the icons here let's say you want it in the lower right corner so you click on this icon here okay, I'll just move this over and I go to preview there it changes same I'm happy with that so I'll just click OK now let's see the whole picture here so I think basically that's it for page curl. Now let's go to the horse. The horse image here. Let's analyze this picture here. So this picture actually, there are two pictures in here. One, I'll just move it over. See there are two pictures one of of just the normal picture the original picture and then the second this is the original in the second one i put some motion blur effect and then i combine both and then i put like a transparency on it so i'll do want to delete that one so what i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate this first so plus sign click on plus sign your keyboard and i'll duplicate okay Okay, now this one I click on the picture 
of the second picture and I go to bitmap and I go to blur and I go to motion blur okay so bitmap blur motion blur now if I click on preview I'm looking at this one right because this is going to change okay let's just wait here motion blur okay so there's a motion blur. You can always adjust the motion blur, but there's a slider here for pixels. How many pixels? I'll just make it 93 pixels and click on preview. Then this will change. So changing this one, this in the slider would change the intensity of the blur effect. Then I'll just click OK here. okay so I'm okay here now what I'm gonna do I'm going to put this in the center of the picture but this one this picture should be on top of this picture so I'm going to arrange go to arrange order I'll make it to front of page just to make sure okay and then I'm going to move this over here on top now I don't see the the image I mean the original picture so what I'm going to do I'm going to my transparency tool interactive transparency tool I'll just make this bigger here so go to my interactive transparency tool and I'm going to click and drag it to the right there you see this image here is the original image and then this one is the blur image but since I put transparency you really won't notice it and now you can see that there is motion in the picture so if you compare it to the original one which is this one here so this one has more motion than this one so that's it you got a page curl effect and let's put it side by side here so you can do all of this in Corel Draw X3 without leaving Corel Draw X3. So you can make effects like getting a person running, and if you want to have motion, you can do it the same way what that I did here, motion blur. Or you can, you know, if you can take a picture of a car, and then half of the picture you can blur it by using transparency. And this one you can also use it in, you know, any desktop publishing effect. So that's it.